Oh, what's up, everybody? We are live. Shouldn't say we, but me. That's right. Gen T with your Bellator picks. I went four for four on my picks last week. Not too bad, not too good. But most importantly, my big winners, Cerrone. <laughs> That's right. We got the upset, God damn it. We got the fucking upset. So I'm so pumped on that. And remind me to never, ever watch another motherfucking fight with Adrian Broner in it. Fuck that puto. Mas puto. Oh, my God. God damn it. Did he, uh, did he even land like eight punches in the whole fight? Piece of shit. How dare you? You get to the big stage and you shit the bed. I bet you bet on yourself to lose. That's how shitty that fight was. I've never seen anybody else turtle up the entire time fighting somebody. It's fucking goddamn disrespectful. For the sake of your name, son. For the sake of your name, fight fucking back, goddamn it. Jesus. Kids garbage. Never again. Goodbye, Adrian Broner. Goodbye, your ticket to the hood. Goodbye. Bye, Felipe. Bye. Uh, I'm going to do my quick Bellator picks before I start my radio show. First off, I have Jake Hager versus J.W. Kisser. Hey, J.W. Kisser, kiss this. Jack Swagger's coming. We the people. That's right. I believe uh, Jake Hager, a.k.a. Jack Swagger, will get this done. Because he's got a lot to prove, fam. He's not trying to lose in front of millions of people. I think this is more than just a CM Punk situation. Uh, Jake really knows how to fight. So don't disappoint me, motherfucker. Aaron Pico versus Henry, whoever gives a fuck. Aaron Pico will smash this kid. It's a wrap. And finally... My last pick, and this is going to shock y'all, because I am a hardcore Fedor fan. <sighs> I'm going with Ryan Bader, y'all. I've been a Ryan Bader fan since the Ultimate Fighter. He has to get this done. I believe in you, bro. I believe in you. ASU Wrestling will beat the Russian. I have to believe. There's just, there's been enough time. I know that Fedor is is pretty goddamn good. And will always be goddamn good, but I just feel like it's Ryan Bader's time now. It's time to shine. And sorry, Fedor, you're going to have to take a seat on that night. It might be your night any other night, just not against Ryan Bader. I feel like he's a quicker, better version of Fedor. Okay? So, with that being said, it is time for me to end these picks. So real quick, Jake Hager, Aaron Pico, Ryan Bader. You can bet against me, bet with me, don't care, long hair, don't care, short hair, don't care. That's all I've got. Uh, every other fight on Bellator should be good. I couldn't tell you, though. I went to try and make some picks on some of the other fights, and holy shit, all of these motherfuckers are shadows. And what do I know about shadows and all of my betting experience? Don't motherfucking bet on shadow people. <laughs> Oh my god, take this from me, your favorite degenerate gambler. Do not bet on shadow people. If you go to Share Dog and it doesn't show their face, don't bet on them. Unless you personally know them, don't bet on this motherfucker. <laughs> You're gonna get screwed. Um, until next time, Ramble Per Radio, RamboPerradio.com. Check the rest of the episode, peep it if you like, and until next time, peace. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Rambo for Radio. I am your host, Jen T. Put on Instagram at Jen T. I'm doing a new thing, y'all. So for those of you who are getting blocked who like this show, <laughs> trying to follow me on the social medias, I am 
public on the weekends. That's right. That way I can check, I can see, I can verify that you indeed listen to the show so you're not some weirdo trying to follow me, trying to jack it to my pictures. <laughs> Oh, I hope everybody is doing well. I've got a kick-ass show for you. So let's get rolling. For starters, I'm motherfucking heated. That's right, fam. I was, it was a Tuesday, I believe. Yes, it was a wonderful Tuesday. Actually, usually Tuesdays are pretty shitty for me because we're short staff. I'm fucking busy. And... I was trying to get a ton of work done, and one of the vendors doing a demonstration in the store told me, Hello! <laughs> Happy New Year! <laughs> the fuck, bitch! I'm you like, suck! Hell now! To the now, now, now! Hell to the now! Hell to the no, to the no, no, no. Oh no, bitch. Oh no. Who the fuck are you? I gave her the most deathly stare and the worst smile possible. I was like, huh? You fucking income fucking poop. <laughs> yeah. uh, happy New Year. I was like, what? Are you crazy? Really, bitch? We're 22 days in. We're 22 days into this shit. And you're still saying Happy New Year? You fucking income fucking poop. I'm going to hop in my DeLorean. Go back to the motherfucking future. Back in time. <laughs> and make sure your parents don't have sex. Because you're an idiot. You fucking income fucking poop. How dare you? How fucking dare you? I was like. I was in complete shock and dismay. I was like, they're still making your kind at the factory? Dum, 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 dum. It's 22 days into the month. It's no longer a new year. This ain't new. Doing something for 22 days ain't new, bitch. Dum, dum, stop. Dum, dum, dum. Just stop. Oh, well, uh, it's uh, yeah, saying Happy New Year because, you know, my my New Year's resolution is to pay attention. And I was like, well, you're breaking it, sweets, because you ain't fucking paying attention. It's 22 days into this year and you're still saying Happy New Year. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. Oh, no, bitch, no. You fucking income fucking poop. Oh my! <laughs> and I was like, I don't, you know, she's having this full-on conversation. I'm trying to work. I don't even know this fucking bitch. I've only seen her face. I've never had a conversation with her in my life. Okay, I've seen her. I've said hello. I kept moving. I'm working. That's what I get paid to do. Work, leave. Work, leave. Yeah. So <laughs> my New Year's resolution is to start paying attention. And uh, <laughs> I, I, I used to always talk on my phone, <laughs> and then I almost hit a parked car because <laughs> I was on my phone. <laughs> dumb, did it? Dumb, did it? Did it? Dumb, 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 dumb. Back see now. Uh, I don't. I th I throw the phone away from me. Uh, I don't want to get. Uh, I don't want to get caught caught into any kind of trouble. Uh, I don't want anybody to get hurt. Dum 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 dum. I don't want to hit a parked car. Uh, I just you know I don't want any trouble. Uh, so I you know I just put the phone in the back seat. I'll throw it away. I was like, oh, my God, I've been fucking kidnapped by this lady's fucking resolution. Get, get, bye, Felicia. Bye. Get the fuck away from me. You fucking income fucking poop. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? If it's serious, you almost fucking hit a parked car and you're talking about almost hitting somebody because you're on your phone so goddamn much. That's serious. You're the people that should be getting a ticket. <laughs> Like, what? You ain't down with that. Shut your goddamn ass up. Getting a parked car is the last of your worries. If you keep staying with me telling me your New Year's resolution bullshit. <laughs> you fucking income fucking poop. Ah. Oh, my God. Stop. If you are still out there telling people Happy New Year's and you listen to this fucking show, I will personally sock you in your motherfucking junk, okay? <laughs> Man or woman.
<laughs> he, she, him, z, zer, whatever the fuck. You're going to get kicked right in the fucking jables if I see you talking about New Year's. Okay? It's enough now. Unless you're talking about a wild party you went to, don't be wishing nobody motherfucking happy New Year's no more. Okay? It's over. It's over, Johnny. It's over. It's over, Johnny. It's over. Co-worker. Who was calling to say they're going to send an email? <laughs> you the devil. You fucking income fucking poop. You're calling me to say you're going to send an email? No, no, no. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> hey. No, I don't. Don't. Don't you. Stupid bitch. Don't you do that. Don't waste everybody's time, especially mine. I'm trying to work here. Do you fucking mind? You're calling me to do what? Oh, what's going on? Oh, uh, yeah, hi. I was just calling to let you know I'm going to send an email about blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, cool. What? You fucking income fucking poop. I wanted to say, I just tell you before I uh, send the email, I'm just calling and tell you I'm going to send an email. Okay, well, dude, hey, do me a, f a favor right now. I'm super busy. Please don't call me that you're going to send an email. Just send the fucking email. Just send it. <laughs> you know, I was like, I just hit send. Bro. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Stupid yeah, bitch. bro, I, I didn't want to send an email. And then, uh, you know, I don't know if anybody gets it or not or what's going on. I said, um, okay, this is how it works. Okay. You send the email. If you don't hear something in 48 hours, send another fucking email. And if you don't hear something in 48 hours from that second email you sent, then you call somebody. Don't call me. Don't call me. Don't call me. Fine, dude. Fine, dude. Fine. Don't call me. Don't call me. Fine, dude. Fine, dude. Fine on my own. Bitch. Hey. You're a grown-ass man. You know better. Don't be calling fucking people before you send an email. Just send the email. Okay? It's no, easy. Don't make it more complicated than it is. Stupid how, bitch. How, how? How? How do you do that? How? I'm asking y'all. Y'all ramble for radio listeners. I'm all fired up. Because this is so stupid. You fucking income fucking poop. Why would poop? you call somebody to send an email? Hello? Hey. I'm going to send an email. Okay, bye. Huh? You fucking income fucking poop. No. Just hit send. Just hit send. Okay? That's it. So you know I ain't worried. Biatch. Oof. Stupid bitch. Block talkie. At block talkie asked me to do 10 influential albums that influence me. And so I thought, rather than blow up everybody's timeline, because y'all don't want to see that, I know how you work, I know how you operate it. When you're on my feed, y'all want the funny videos, you don't want anything else. You don't want, not a goddamn thing. You don't respond to anything else but funny videos. So I got you, I got the people on lock, I know what you want, it's funny videos. So me posting 10 different albums every day or 10 weeks, people ain't going to have that shit. So Block Talkie, at Block Talkie. I am specifically addressing you that I will be talking about 10 influential albums on here on Rambo Per Radio. RamboPerRadio.com, where you can hear my 10 influential albums. First album is Appetite for Destruction. Axl Rose steps off that bus and you hear that. <laughs> Man, motherfucking welcome to the jungle is my shit. When I was the tender age of four years old, I got all the pillows from the couch and I would arrange them. The pots and pans and the pillows. The pillows were my drums and my cymbals. And I would just just go to town. I was wailing on this shit. I loved it. Look at the 
I was going to town. My mom had to replace the couch pillows every couple of weeks because I would literally beat the stuffing out there because I was playing drums on it because I loved that song so much. I was into it. I loved it. That shit was me. It didn't matter what the fuck was going on. That song came on the TV. I was a goner. I had to sit down and play drums with that. So to me, Appetite for Destruction album is my number one influence. Damn, these tracks were amazing. After that was Night Train. I'm on a night train. God damn it. I love Night Train. That's right, Night Train. And then, of course. <laughs> See, I literally thought Mr. Brownstone. I thought Mr. Brownstone was like some dude who took shits on the brown on the, the steps outside of his house. Like I was like, man, Mr. Brownstone. Mr. Brownstone takes massive poopies on his porch. Like I didn't understand. Like as I was a kid, I was like, man, Mr. Brownstone sounds like he needs diapers, man. <laughs> and then, whoo, Paradise City. Damn, such a gym, such a fucking gym. Dig my down to the bird, I said I want a crazy grin and the kids are pretty. I want to play, sick me home, yeah, yeah. Man, Paradise City, what a smash. I mean, it's still played today at sporting events and people go nuts, man. People get tits out, people get their tits out. People get their tits out. People go nuts, man. They're, they're just so happy to be in Paradise City. Oh, God. Man, what a great, great, great album. And see, as I got older, see, I would only used to, after I got to Paradise City, I used to turn the tape off. But as I got older, I started to appreciate some of these deep tracks that, well, 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 you never can tell. Well, 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 my Michelle. My, my, my Michelle. Ooh, and my first Guns N' Roses song, I learned to play on guitar. Sweet child of mine, God. Just this brings back so many fucking memories. Oh man, and then anything goes. My way, your way, anything goes tonight. That was like mm, okay. And then oh, we also had I think about you. I think about you. Man, but the la- the the two tracks that hit me when I was older and I and I still to this day I walk around and anytime something bad happens in my life or something bad is going on or shit's hitting the fan um, I will always I always start singing any one of these two particular songs and the first one is you crazy crazy you fucking crazy oh yeah 
<laughs> and of course, the last one is Rocket Queen. Oh my god! <laughs> Tongue like a razor, six feet by knife, and man about no, nearly all the big bad. Yeah, I am your Rocket Queen. Oh, I'll be a dog, a dog, a dog, a dog, a Oh man, such great memories. <laughs> I know. Axel, you can leave now. We're, we're good. <laughs> oh man. But that was my shit, and particularly what used to bum me out was. I so desperately, more than anything else, even though I could play drums very well and I still can, self-taught, hours and hours of watching MTV music videos or listening to records and cassettes and CDs. The thing that I always wanted to be is I always wanted to be Slash. I just wanted to be the cool guy with the top hat who could play guitar like nobody's business. I felt like he got the most chicks out of any of them. Because he just plugged in and was like high as a motherfucking kite and just strums along, solos along with the eyes closed. He had the big glasses on so you can't even tell if he's awake or if he's fucking <laughs> asleep. But damn, <laughs> he was the man to me. And for the longest time, I thought he was white. <laughs> Until he and Axel had a big fight. And Axel called him the N-word or something one time. I was like, holy shit. Axel's calling that white dude the N-word in a fight. Why is he upset? And I went, oh shit. Did some research. Found out that act that Slash, aka real name Saul Hudson. And then I saw Slash without the glasses one day. I went, oh shit. This dude's black. Oh my God. This guy rules. <laughs> Slash is just like me. Oh my god. <laughs> Except of course he's way cooler than me. Oh my god. Slash is like the motherfucking man. I I, so I used to pray at night sometimes. I'm like, God, please take my drum talents and give me guitar talents. But then when I got into a lot of accidents and I was on the verge of losing my license because I kept falling asleep at the wheel. That's right. I had like five car accidents in like three years out of between my high school graduation and me starting to work. I've already been in like five car accidents. And they were getting ready to take my license away. So my parents used to have to drive me around everywhere. And so I was just spending a lot of time at home. I didn't really want to go anywhere because I was fucking traumatized from cars. Like just multiple cars. And I was falling asleep at the wheel, making stupid driving errors because I was so goddamn tired. But... I picked up guitar and I started to learn how to play and I did learn how to play Sweet Child of Mine and it is fucking hard. It is not as easy as it sounds. God damn you, Slack. Uh, the guy is motherfucking Chase. Tell you. Um, but I appreciate it. I, I started to teach myself how to play guitar and it is fucking hard. I mean, I don't think I'll ever be a virtuoso like Slash, but... God damn it! I can I can still play along. I can be easy. I can be fucking. Uh, um, who, who's the guy on? Uh, who's the second string guitar in Guns N' Roses? Uh, Gilby Clark. <laughs> Dizzy Reed is on keys, and then of course we got Duff McKagan on bass, and then Matt Sorum on drums. But now it's like the black guy. I can't think of his name. Oh, but he's fucking badass on drums. But Steven Adler. I was around for the Steven Adler days. And god damn it, I wish that he would have figured it out so he could have stayed in the band. I mean, they were all drugged up, but Steven was so fucking bad that they had to kick him out of the band because he could not keep it together. He was that fucked up. I mean, they were fucked up, but Steven was hella fucked up. But in the end, that began my love for Guns N' Roses, and I so desperately, every morning, I so desperately wanted to be just like those guys. I was like, man, those guys are so fucking cool. And now that I'm older, I realize I'm like, oh shit. 
Maybe I just want to be either uh, Duff or Matt Sorum or uh, Slash. Or even Axel. I mean, Axel's kind of crazy, but, you know, he's coming back. He's, he's pulling it together. There was a time where he was off the motherfucking deep end, and Guns N' Roses was dead, and then they finally came back, and they've been on tour, man. They've been two years. I think everybody's sober now, and they've been touring it, and it's been fucking fantastic, and I hope so badly to catch them on tour. So there you are at Block Talkie. I hope you tune in next week for my next influential album. So we'll get 10 episodes of doing influential albums coming your way. Um, but in the meantime, any of you listening, if you want to slide in the DMs and let me know your 10 influential albums, that would be rad too. No judgments. They don't have to be major award-winning albums. Just things that shape your journey in life. Let me know. I am fucking hooked, guys. I cannot tell you. I am bloody hooked on The Punisher on Netflix. Woo! It's good, guys. Damn it. I urge you to watch it, but I highly recommend, I highly suggest that you make sure that um, you aren't doing anything else or have any responsibilities because I barely paid my bills. <laughs> I have been binge watching The Punisher since uh, I want to say Wednesday, and I am almost done. And today is Friday, so holy shit, guys! <laughs> Wednesday, late, uh, late Wednesday night, early Thursday. So Thursday, Friday. It's been two days, and I've watched almost eleven episodes. Holy shit! <laughs> I highly recommend. It's fucking badass. It's got all the things I love. It's got um, a bitty of the ultraviolets in there and then there's some chicks in there they're not really hot but they're like crazy so they're fucking crazy crazy they must be crazy oh yeah yeah so you you can tell I'm fucking damaged because I love crazy women (laughs) crazy women (laughs) I highly recommend The Punisher Tune in to The Punisher, watch it, let me know what you think, tell me it's a steamy pile of shit, or tell me it's fucking awesome. I would love to hear from you. And on that note, it is time for Customers of the Week. This week, I had two people complain, one of them complained about me, one complained that her protein powder wasn't watermelony enough, and a singing lady, here we go. So my customer complaint this week, which, you know, I was overdue. Rambo was overdue for some fucking jackhole. The devil is a motherfucking liar. So, you know, I ain't worried. Biatch. Stupid bitch. I'm best to tell them everything I know to pass on the knowledge for free. These people come in there. They get a service. They don't pay a motherfucking dime other than buying the vitamin. You don't even have to buy the vitamin. There's some fucking dickheads that come in here and just want to talk to you. Talk your ear off. Get your knowledge and then leave. Buy the shit on Amazon or just keep coming and talk to you because they're lonely. Okay? And this lady was no different. Oh, I have a cold. I have a cold. Okay, great. Uh, here are some options for you. I gave her four fucking options. Okay? Gave her some options. And you know what this bitch did? She wanted to argue with me argue whoa 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 sweets you came into the vitamin store to get vitamins did you not did you not so why are you having an argument with me we can disagree but you want to fight me tooth and nail on the education that i know the 16 years that i've been taught about vitamins and you know dog piss willy you want to sit and argue with me about it Okay, well, sweets, maybe you don't care about your cold. Maybe you just want to fight. If you want to fight, cool. I keep my gloves in the car. We can go. So this bitch comes in and was like, I have a cold. I have a cold. I'm like, okay, here are your options. Here are some capsules. Here are some liquids. Well, which one is the best? I don't know. I, this is the best. I don't know. I don't know. I, don't mean, I mean, are you sure? I don't know. Are you sure? I don't know. 
Well, if you're not sure, sweets, and this is what I told her, and I said, you know, if you're not sure, then why don't we take a step back and think about what can we do to fix your cold without buying any vitamins? What about a tea? I don't know. This is just too complicated. Okay, well, let me make it, let me make it easy for you. Here are two pills. Here is our house label. Here is another brand here. Okay. Didn't even want to tell her about the liquid. Didn't even want to educate her about the teas because this bitch was fucking annoying. So I was just trying to get her out of there. And she goes, well, which one? I said, well, why don't you buy this one here? This one, you get three times as much the product for $5 less rather than buying the other one there. Well, how do I know it's quality? It's on sale. And I said, ma'am, we, will, we only carry quality products here. What's wrong with that statement? We only carry quality products here. You tell me, Rambo for Radio listeners, you tell me, what is wrong with saying we only carry quality products here? Meaning, you have nothing to worry about. Any pick you make is not going to be a bad choice. Whether it's on sale or it's the most expensive thing in the building. It's going to be good. She doesn't even say thank you. She comes back to complain to my boss, and then my boss gives her a fucking discount after the fact, after complaining about, guess what, that she was offended that I said that we only carry quality products here. She said I was sarcastic about it, and I was like, huh? You fucking income fucking poop. I might be a jokester. I might tell jokes. I might be funny. I might goof off when nobody's around. But when it comes to my work, I take my work very seriously because it's my job. Why would I waste my time telling jokes to this dumb bitch? The devil is a motherfucking liar. So you know I ain't worried. Be hot, stupid bitch. Joke about that. Why would I be sarcastic about that? And I was told to watch what I say. Now... You weren't there. Okay, I've, I've worked at this company for a long time. So because some stranger, some dumbass off the street tells you I did something wrong and you fucking know me and you know that I don't joke about work, you're going to tell me to watch what I say? I can't tell somebody that we only carry quality things? The fuck? You fucking income fucking poop. I was pissed. I was like, oh my God, bitch. Don't buy vitamins. If you don't trust vitamins, don't buy them. Stay the fuck out of the store. Buy them online. Who cares? Get the fuck out of here. You have no business buying vitamins if you don't trust them. The devil is a motherfucking liar. So you know I ain't worried. Be hot. Stupid bitch. Very quality things. And you shouldn't be worried. Oh, go fuck yourself. Jog off. You fucking income fucking poop. Really? Just terrible. You are so, you're such a fucking snowflake. And then the discount she got, it wasn't like they gave her half off or gave her a free product. It was 10%. So you came back to complain so you could get a dollar off something that was already on fucking sale, you dumb son of a bitch? Look at you. Look at you, fat bitch. Look at you, fat bitch. <laughs> oh, God. Train spotting saves the day. I really do. I mean, she just fucking sent me to the edge. I was like, oh, God damn you, lady. God damn it, man. I'm working my ass off, trying to pay my bills, trying to do something with my life. And here you come in here with your shitty ass attitude. And you want to be combative. And then you force my boss who knows me to have a conversation, which they know that I'm right. And then still have to tell me to watch what I say, because we're so desperate for money. We're so desperate for money. We're desperate for the business. And it's like, no, stop. You need to have my fucking back. You're so desperate for business. Well, why don't you have my fucking back? So that way I don't have to doubt what I'm going to say every fucking five seconds to people now. Have some fucking decency and take my back. The devil is a motherfucking liar. So you know I ain't worried. Be hot. Stupid bitch. Look at you, fat bitch. Look at you, fat bitch. You fucking.
fucking income, fucking poop. Who do you think my next employer is, motherfucker? Rambo Radio. Kapuya, kapuya. It. <laughs> Do whatever you gotta do, and I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Oh no, I need my dollar off. I need to make a point so I get my dollar off. You fucking income fucking poop. Seriously. Man, go fuck yourself. Really wanted, you know what? I really wanted to do, (laughs) I really wanted to just play Spirit of the Truth. Uh, to that lady because she's so so stupid. Oh man. Oh, I just I just thought of Reverend X. I just thought of him saying, "Biatch." Oh, the devil is a motherfucking liar. So you know I ain't worried. Biatch. Stupid bitch. Now that I got that off my chest. Then shortly after that, another complaint came through. It wasn't about me. It was about a product and. This particular product, she wanted the product watermelon, watermelon flavored. Blech. Watermelon, the most disgusting thing on the planet. I can't not tell you. I don't know how you heathens eat that shit. You fucking pagans <laughs> eating watermelon. <laughs> I don't know how y'all fucking do that, but I can't do that shit. It is terrible, fam. Watermelon. I know if you're just tuning into this show, I will be the only black person on this earth who does not like watermelon. I find it completely vile and disgusting. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> this lady, she was like, um, so I bought this watermelon powder and as I got to the bottom, it's not as watermelon as it was when I first got it on the top part. I was like, oh my God, lady. I was like, okay, ma'am. Well, what exactly is in here? Well, it says it's watermelon flavor, but this is collagen. I said, oh, great. So um, it says here it's designed for hair, skin, nails, joints, digestion, right? Yeah, that's what it says on the bottle, but it also says it's watermelon. I said, okay, cool. So if I said, is your skin or hair worse off when you... Then when you started taking this, has it improved? Well, yeah, but, you know, it's not as watermelony as when you get to the bottom. I said, okay, so it's actually doing its job. So, well, I just want another container. Another container? Yeah, this is the second one that I've returned. And that it's really watermelony on the top and then nothing on the bottom. I hardly anything on the bottom. And I was like, well, have you tried shaking it up? But that's not the point. The point is it's supposed to be watermelony the whole way. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Bitch. (laughs) You. You fucking income fucking poop. It's doing the job. It's, It's helping your hair. It's helping your skin. You're feeling better. You got energy. Your digestion's good, right? Just so we're clear, right? Everything's working good. It's working better since you started taking this product, right? Well, yeah. And I said, okay, so. You've almost finished the container, right? Well, yeah, but... I said, okay, so you don't get to return it for a third one. You've already done this twice. No more. Okay? It's doing its job. The product is actually working. So you don't need to return it. Oh, but I just want it to be more watermelony. Okay, well, that's not the point of the product. Well, it says it's watermelon flavor. I said, but you're missing the point, ma'am. The point is, is it's supposed to help your hair, your skin, your nails, and your joints. So this collagen here, it's doing its job. Oh, well, I guess so. Okay. Okay. (laughs) God damn it, man. You you just got it. (laughs) You will not believe the place that I work at. It's just full of... Just 90% I'm being genuine. I'm being courteous when I say 90% of them are complete fucksticks. These customers, they're complete fucksticks. I'm being honest. Absolute fucking pricks. 
You have to be mental that you would finish. You've left five scoops in the container and you want to return it because it's not as watermelony on the bottom. Well, no shit, Sherlock. You ate it all. You fucking income fucking poop. Oh, go off. The devil is a motherfucking liar. So you know I ain't worried. Biatch. Stupid bitch. Lady was there. So I was uh, working and then I heard. And I was like, oh, oh my God. I'm like, can I just work in fucking peace? Can I just get my shit done and go home? Why? Why? Uh, ma'am, did you need some help? Yeah, I need some help. That's right. I was like, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> um, how, how, how can I help you? Yeah, that's right. I need some motherfucking help. She didn't say motherfucking, but she did say, I need some help. So singing. And I'm like, oh, my God. I can't. I can't deal with this, man. I just. <sighs> I was like, ma'am, what were you looking for? Boy. Well, I've just come in your beautiful store, Boy. and I need some stuff, some vitamins. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh God. Okay, well, what, uh, what, what are you looking for? Boy. I've got a list here. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's on your list? Boy. I need some vitamin C. I'm like, mm, hmm, okay, that's right over here. Boy. And what about your Annika Montana? Boy. Um, uh, it's, it's over on aisle five. Uh, how about I just tell you the numbers and then you can, like, you know, go, because um, this, you know. Boy. Oh, I totally get it, baby. You're busy. So give me them numbers Boy. for the aisles. Okay, great. Um, so, vitamin C is here on aisle three. Boy. Did you say aisle three for the vitamin C? Um, yeah. Uh, okay, Boy. baby. Um, hmm. Okay, uh, Arnica is on number four. Boy. Oh, yeah, Arnica on number four. Boy. Inside the store. Oh. Okay, uh, and let's see on your list here. Oh, yeah, uh, turmeric and glucosamine chondroitin. Turmeric, 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 corn, glucosamine, and chondroitin. Okay, that's in our joint section. Joint section, baby. I'm like, oh, um, yeah, on aisle six. Six, number six. Thank you, baby, Boy. so much. And then I walk away and I heard, mm, hell, mm, hell. that's right. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, my God. I'm like two aisles away. Can I hear this bitch singing? God damn it. Shut up. <laughs> Shut your bitch ass up. <laughs> the devil is a motherfucking liar. So you know I ain't worried. Be hot. Stupid bitch. Sound bites like nobody's business. Cowboy Cerrone and his win. We want to celebrate. And now he has potentially booked his fight with Conor McGregor. So here is Donald Cerrone smashing Alex Hernandez after he talked shit. It's red panty night when you sign to find me, yeah? Back at your back at home with your wife. It's a celebration. Connor, Connor has no right coming up to 55. There's no way he's not going to stand a chance. We're too big for him. We're too strong. So you can take your little English ass and get on. You're too slow and too stiff. You're stiff as a board. I'd snap you in half. You beat nobody and you think you're going to come up to 155 and make a statement? Come on, man. Sit the fuck down. Yeah. Oh, no. He, he's real good at talking out in front of the public. But when we all stand in the background there, he ain't got nothing to say. So, uh, the, uh... 
Of course, we get out here, he wants to run his mouth, but it's good. You know, he sells the fights, but he comes to 155, he won't bend his little ass over and knock the fucking lucky charm. See about that. You're fighting a guy that whooped your ass next, so you got to come through that. And let me say, and then I'll consider, I'll check the numbers, I'll discuss it with Frank, and I'll decide whether I'll change your bum life as well. And that's the fucking seed, okay? Jesus Christ. That's the fucking seed. That's the next fight. They already, he already planted the fucking seed. He already planted the fucking seed. Conor McGregor versus Cowboy Cerrone planted the fucking seed. <laughs> I love it. I fucking love it. Then uh, we had Cowboy a post-fight interview after he smashed, he beat the brakes off Alex Hernandez. At the press conference, cutting way irritable. Dude. Like, listen here, you little fucker, you know? Like, that's how I felt. Had he said something about my like, wife or kid, I would have ripped his fucking heart out right there. Yeah, like, I'm not a guy to... It so drives me so crazy how these guys are in the back. We're standing right next to each other. They don't say nothing. They don't say they get in front of the cameras in front of you guys, and they can just run. They just free free speech. Like, hold, no, 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 no. That's not me. I'll fucking track you down beat the fuck out of you. Yeah. Now we're street fighting, motherfucker, and there ain't no breath. Um... Sorry, that's probably you guys' new headline, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, cowboy. You the man. You might not like trans people, but you the man. <laughs> and then, of course, we had that terrible, terrible Adrian Broner fight in Manny Pacquiao. The motherfucker maybe threw eight punches the entire 12 rounds, just got marked. By Manny Pacquiao and should probably never fight in the big stage again. He should just open a gym, not even open gym, just work at the YMCA and teach people how to turtle up. <laughs> you piece of garbage, Adrian Broner. God damn you. What did you think about the fight? What you, I beat him. <laughs> what? What did you say? What you, I beat him. Everybody out there know I beat him. You must be out of your goddamn mind. delusional adrian broner you fucking idiot i just i can't believe it and then as the days went on the memes just got better and better this one had to be my favorite and i still now when some shit is going down this week after i saw this clip i kept si i still sing it now when some when something's going wrong i still sing this listen to this song i just love it <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah, I, I believe I want to fight. Shit, that's just like, that's just like, it's just like, it's just like, amen, amen, that's just like, that's just like, it's just like, it's just like, it's just like amen, amen, hey, hey, you heard me. That's just like, that's just like, it's just like, it's just like, amen, amen, hey, hey, you heard me. That's just like, that's just like, it's just like, it's just like, amen, amen, <laughs> it's just like it's just like <laughs> a mini mall. <laughs> That's exactly how that fight was like. Just he's just fucking terrible. Shame on you, Adrian Broner. Shame on you. Oh God. God damn it, man. Um. Oh, I had a, a guy crying, a viral video this week of a guy crying because his weed was so good. Check it out. Thank God for my reefer, man. This shit good. Oh my 
my God. Who the hell? <laughs> oh, damn it. And then, of course, as of last week's viral video with Soulja Boy claiming that he started Drake's career, um, he's been walking around town doing all these radio shows with a stretched out Gucci headband. And so finally, at Amplified Dot from BBC One Extra Radio finally called him out on it. And it's true. We've all been thinking it. What the fuck is up with your headband, Soldier Boy? It's all stretched out. You look ridiculous. Soldier Boy's Gucci headband. <laughs> oh, my days. That Gucci headband is done, Soldier. All right? That Gucci headband looks like it's got two jobs and six kids. It looks like it's had enough. It's lost its elasticity. Do you know that? It's baggy. How is your headband baggy, bro? I am against any sort of sportswear as, like, everyday accessory anyway, all right? Are you Roger Federer? I don't understand. Have you got the US Open this afternoon? Have you got, like, squash doubles after lunch? Why are you wearing sports gear just on a common day? It's, it's like wearing shin pads to lunch. It's not part of the look. Please, soldier, bro, I love you. But from time when your Gucci headband has its own Instagram page, it's time to release, all right? <laughs> Holy shit, holy shit. This headband looks like it has two jumps and six kids. <laughs> oh shit, man. You died, son. God damn you. God damn it. Oh. Man. Man, oh man. I cannot. I can't. I can't not deal with this shit. <laughs> And on that note, it is time for me to wrap this up. Please like, share, and subscribe to Ramble Radio, RambleBurberRadio.com. I hope this episode wasn't too negative. Psych. But this is what you get, guys. This is what you get. You get the honest opinions of my life, my daily struggles, my triumphs. And they aren't always going to be positive. Sometimes they're going to be downright negative. Sometimes it's just going to read people for filth. That's what I do. That's my job. Or at least outside of my job. That's what I do. That's what gets me out of bed. So, hopefully next week, what we'll episode will be even better. <laughs> no, it will have some UFC picks. And, of course, the wild and wacky world of me, Rambo Pro. Me, Vita Loca. Leave me a, a nasty review on iTunes. Tell your friends, but only if they're cool. No snowflakes, no negative Nancys, no sensitive Sallys. Only real shit. Truth Sayer, Lie Slayer. But until next time, this is Ramble Burrito. And it's... It's just like, it's just like, it's just like a man anymore. <laughs> This is Rambo Radio. I'm out.